In music, the new complexity is a term dating from the 1980s, principally applied to composers seeking a complex, multi layered interplay of evolutionary processes occurring simultaneously within every dimension of the musical material. Fox 2001 Topic. Origins Though often atonal, highly abstract, and dissonant in sound, new complexity music is most readily characterized by the use of techniques which require complex musical notation. This includes extended techniques, complex and often unstable textures, microtonality, highly disjunct melodic contour, complex layered rhythms, abrupt changes in texture, and so on. It is also characterized, in contrast to the music of the immediate post-World War II serialists, by the frequent reliance of its composers on poetic conceptions, very often implied in the titles of individual works and work cycles. The origin of the name New Complexity is uncertain. Amongst the candidates suggested for having coined it are the composer Nigel Osborne, the Belgian musicologist Harry Halbreich, and the British Australian musicologist Richard Toop, who gave currency to the concept of a movement with his article, Four Facets of the New Complexity. Toop 1988, an article that nevertheless emphasized the individuality of four composers Richard Barrett, Chris Dench, James Dillon, and Michael Finnessy, both in terms of their working methods and the sound of their compositions, and which demonstrated they did not constitute a unified school of thought. Boros 1994, 92-93. In the UK, particularly at the instigation of Ensemble Sauron and later Ensemble Exposé, works by New Complexity composers were for some time frequently programmed together with then unfashionable non UK composers, including Xenicus and Feldman, but also such diverse figures as Clarence Barlow, Hans Joachim Hespos, and Heinz Holliger. Although the British influence, via the teaching efforts of Brian Fernihau and Michael Finnessy, was decisive in the origins of this movement, initial support came not from British institutions but rather from performers and promoters of new music in continental Europe, particularly at the Darmstadter Ferenkers between 1982 and 1996, where Fernihau was in charge of the composition programme. Fernihau's Etudes Transcendentales, a song cycle for soprano and chamber ensemble, demonstrates many traits found in new complexity music. In addition to being generally difficult to learn and perform, the pitch vocabulary makes heavy use of microtones, in this case, equal tempered quarter tones. It also contains many tuplets of unusual ratios which are nested in multiple layers. Rapid changes, sometimes from note to note, happen in dynamics, articulation, and playing technique, including techniques such as multiphonics on the oboe, glottal stops for the voice, and key clicking for the flute. According to Richard Toop, the rhythm for the oboe part in the first song is almost totally determined by a strict system with five stages of complexity, each governed by its own cycle of numbers. Topic. International spread By 1997, the composers associated with the new complexity had become an international and geographically disjunct movement, spread across North America, Europe, and Australia, many of them with little connection to the Darmstadt courses, and with considerable divergence amongst themselves in styles and techniques Fox 2001. This can be seen in the range of nationalities of composers interested in this aesthetic direction, the international interest of ensembles in this music, and the impact of teachers such as James Dillon, Klaus Stefan Mankoff, and Brian Fernihau in both Germany and the United States. One example of the international spread of the movement can be found in the Bludenzer Tage Bludenz, Austria, during the leadership of the composer Wolfram Schurig from 1995 to 2006. 
although numerous other compositional directions were represented as well, this festival was prominent during this decade for its support of composers associated with the new complexity, in many respects replacing the Darmstadter Ferenkers in leadership in this compositional direction. The international nature of its programming is clear from a large number of composers invited from North America. These included Ignacio Bacalobera from Mexico and Aaron Cassidy, Franklin Cox, Chris Mercer, Stephen Takasugi, and Mark Osborne from the United States. There are various individual performers who have become to varying degrees closely associated with the movement, among them flautists Nancy Ruffer and Lisa Sella, oboists Christopher Redgate and Peter Veal, clarinetists Carl Rossman, Andrew Sparling and Michael Norsworthy, pianists Augustus Arnone, James Clapperton, Nicholas Hodges, Mark Noop, Marilyn Nonkin, Mark Gasser, Ermis Theodoricus, and Ian Pace, violinists Miko Cano and Mark Menzies, cellists Franklin Cox, Arne De Force and Friedrich Gowerke. A number of ensembles are also known for performing new complexity works, such as the RDT Quartet, Jack Quartet, Ensemble Exposé, Thaline Ensemble, Ensemble 21, Ensemble Surplus, and Elysian Ensemble. Works by Fernihau and Dylan, in particular, has been taken on by a wider range of European ensembles, including Ensemble Recherche, Ensemble Accroche Note, The New Ensemble, and Ensemble Contrachamp. Topic: Other notable composers. Marc Andre, France. Joel Francois Durand, France. Jason Eckert, USA. James Erber, UK. Saman Samadi, Iran. Matthias Peincher, Germany. Rene Wolhauser, Switzerland. Topic. See also. 20th century classical music. Contemporary classical music Modernism music Experimental music Avant-garde